vacation with my brother and my patriot friends to the southwestern United States, known as the Mojave Desert, home of Area 51. My original plan was to be to go south, camp on the property, Vegas, one night, another night somewhere around the Alien Visitation Center near Area 51, then the town of Bodie on the last day, and make our way through the scenic route over the mountains back home. Probably get home super late, but that's my vacation. That was my vacation. Now we're going with Plan B. We're going with the Storm Area 51. But my plans aren't really changing. I'm not changing anything except Vegas. I'm cutting that out, which is probably a good thing, because if I go to Vegas, you know, I probably just end up spending a bunch of money or whatever and losing a bunch of money. So I'm skipping Vegas, and we're cutting through Death Valley and taking a three and a half hour drive, because it's about a three hour drive, three and a half hour drive from California City to Las Vegas. And if we cut through Death Valley, it's a three and a half hour drive to the Area 51 Alien Visita Visitation Center. So we're going to cut through Death Valley, which is going to be really awesome because I've already been to Vegas. I've never been to Death Valley. And of course, I've never been to the Area 51 either. Of course, I also never planned on trespassing on Area 51. And meeting with just my group or several million people either way is all coincidental I do wonder if those two establishments are prepared for this that's gonna be pretty important that visitation center I heard you can get some food there and then there's the brothel or strip club across the street um, I don't think they can accommodate how many people are gonna be showing up do they even have enough food for this many people? We'll find out. I say someone make a call and get some food trucks out there. I know I'm going to be bringing more than enough for just my group. I did find out that you can, in fact, camp all over the Mojave Desert, everywhere that is BLM land. And all the land surrounding Area 51, just about all of it, is BLM land. You can, in fact, even camp right outside the gate of Area 51. Uh, the back gate, I think it is, where they have uh, they have a booth there and they have guards on duty. But from what I just found out, that they will keep an eye on you and they keep the lights on all night so that you are uh, to make it very difficult for you to sleep. So this is going to be one big giant camp out in the middle of the desert. It's going to be fun. Special shout out to Ewu, by the way. Subscribe to Ewu, they seem pretty woke. Let's think about this for a second. It's my dad and my grandparents helped fund this base. And they've they've kept it hidden from us for over a over a half a century. Whatever happened to no taxation without representation? Because they built this base on taxpayer money, and they didn't represent what they were doing with the money. They kept telling us it wasn't there, it didn't exist. Well, unless they got this money from somewhere else, this is a prime example of no taxation without representation, and taxation going towards something that wasn't represented. And still to this day, we are paying for it. And if you decide now, if you want to go there and you want to trespass and go see what's going on there, well, they'll just take a little bit more money. They'll fine you, what, $500, $700, whatever it is. And you're still paying for it. But I don't remember voting for this. I don't remember anybody, any of us, deciding that we wanted an Area 51. So we should storm Area 51. And if someone gets hurt, that's on them. They have until the 20th to clear out anything from the base that they don't want us to find and get any obstacles out of the way. 
that we might get hurt on, if that's the only excuse. Assuming there's nothing in the base that we might find that they don't want us to find, and that the real reason they don't want us to get hurt, well then, they have 20 till the 20th of September to get all that crap out of the way. Because if I illegally trespass onto someone's property, and I fall and impale myself on a pitchfork, guess who's liable? They are.